This is New Cap News with Chris Chacon. Well, good evening and thank you for joining us. One of Canada's longest running bull shows in sale was underway in the border city today. The 97th annual Pride of the Prairies once again featured some of the best bulls from Western Canada. For the third year, the exhibition hosted the Progress Steer and Heifer Junior Show. Hannah Tita has more. We were really looking for steers that are, that are stout, that are, that are really sound made. The Lloydminster Exhibition Grounds was packed with buyers from all over the region looking to add livestock to their herds. 56 heifers and 53 steers were showcased at the Progress Steer and Heifer Junior Show. For Jason Goodfellow, it's been a good run over the past few years with cattle prices where they are. I would say the demand for females uh, has been our biggest uh, uh, market. Uh, just the fact that people want to get good functional females that do their job uh, and do it on a cost-effective basis. So a Speckle Park female kind of fits that bill. Speckle Park is a shorthorn and Angus cross from Saskatchewan. Goodfellow didn't just bring the breed of steers to the show this year though. I like showing them and helping get them ready. For the first time, the 10-year participant brought his daughters. He says it's a great opportunity for them to get involved with the family business and showcase the Speckle Park genetics in the junior program. As far as showcasing steers and uh, letting our daughters uh, go towards a junior program, this definitely is the biggest, uh, biggest show they've ever done. The annual event is also a family affair for bull show and sale consigner April Okerman. She says there is a certain feeling of pride being in a family business. It's like any other business, right? Like you, you have your arguments, you have your bicker, but at the end of the day, you're family and you basically do it because you love industry, love fitting cattle, love talking to producers, and you love cows basically. Hannah Tita, New Cap News. Well, call after call came in as thousands donated to the 40th annual Kinsman Foundation Telemiracle Fundraiser. The show, air, the show aired all night and featured 60 acts showcasing provincial talent. By the time the show wrapped up, they managed to raise over $5 million, an incredible amount considering the tough economy. In, previous, in the previous 39 fundraisers, roughly $111 million has been raised. The funding plays a major role for those with special needs by providing medical equipment and other necessary supplies. Eagles, crocodiles, pythons, and even a kangaroo. Canada's largest reptile and exotic pet rescue made a stop in the border city this weekend and drew quite a crowd. The second annual wildlife festival brought in animals from all over the world. And as Hatatita explains, families made their way to the stockade for a chance to get up close to some rare creatures. This is as big as a kestrel can ever get. Now from tip to tip, her wingspan is about two feet. Border City residents came face to face with 20 live animal exhibits at the Wildlife Festival this weekend. While people flocked to the Stockade Convention Center for the chance to see something out of the ordinary, Kyle Laurie says the festival was also a way to raise awareness and funds for conservation efforts in Canada. We get animals dropped off to us, we rescue animals from people's homes, and it's just a matter of, you know, we have them and we use them as ambassadors to either reintroduction if they can, a lot of them can't unfortunately, uh, or we'll either, you know, do these shows as to teach people about the animals themselves. The wildlife show featured anything from cute little fluffy animals to birds to tarantulas all the way from South America. And just a general knowledge that birds of prey are vital to a healthy ecosystem. The festival also featured interactive half-hour presentations to teach people about some of the birds of prey and reptiles right here in our province. We want people to enjoy themselves, but we also want people to learn. So we want them to learn about conservation, we want them to learn about responsible pet ownership, and it's just uh, there's so many people who don't know enough about it that we want to really educate people on, uh, on what they can do in their own backyards to, to help save the environment and save the wildlife. I think it's pretty nice that kids will find out what they actually know about animals and taking care of our environment around here. I think it's really cool to see all these cool animals coming from different places around the world, like um, Australia and all those places. For the most captivated audience, the kids, the consensus on the most fascinating exhibit was unanimous. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Uh, kangaroo. Hannah Tita, New Cap News.